Hi everyone, my name is Olga and I'm a pre-postnatal specialist. I'm also a woman fitness trainer and a dance teacher and nutritionist. Today I want to record for you workout postnatal recovery. So this is quite important period for the mums who had a baby already and they're looking how to get back to the shape the most important how to get strength back from inside out we have quite often where our muscles in the middle of our belly is separates during the pregnancy or during a labor and that's absolutely normal and very common usually in a couple of weeks maybe months is supposed to go back to the normal but it's not the way how it's happening and quite often the muscles is have quite a big gap and they stay there and creates the big problem. Another thing which is quite often happened during the pregnancy or after is the weakness of the pelvic floor muscles and it creates uh, very, very uh, lots of areas of a problem like leakage of urine or pain in the low uh, belly or low back discomfort if i'm sneezing coughing jumping is always wet so of course it creates the problem if we're trying to go and have the normal life or when we're ready to go and join the fitness centers and fitness exercise and that's where we sometimes jump a bit too soon and not giving our body enough time to recover, make sure we know that all the moves we do is the safe for our recovery. So this is a video is the all moves is safe for diastas recti or abdominal separation, prolapse or weakness in your pelvic floor muscles, all the moves are safe. Very important is to start with your breathing. Some of the moves you can start quite quick, few weeks after your labor. If you had a C-section, I would recommend for you to wait a little bit longer, but something like I'm gonna show you now, breathing exercise and contraction and relaxing of your pelvic floor muscles, you can start quite soon after labor, if you don't have any complications or if you don't have heavy bleeding. If it's past, you can start to use those exercises always check with your doctor before you're trying to do any type of a fitness exercises usually it is the checkup after six or eight months and if your doctor says all is clear all is good then you can start doing a, some sort of fitness program don't go with the high intensity straight away we all different and we all recovering on a different time so just make sure your body ready, you're mentally ready. First move what we're going to try, we're going to relax our belly and try to kind of gently push it out. On a breathe out, we're going to pull the belly button inwards. Relax breathing. Out. In. Out. Picture that feeling that you're trying to lift the pubic bone towards your belly button. So it lifts your pelvic floor muscles and contract. And then when you breathe in, in is relax. Okay. So remember like candle front of you and you're trying to pull and breathe out at the same time. Then what you can do, if you have something at home, which is probably all of you do is grab the pillow or maybe you have something like a small pilates ball if you don't have anything like this you can use the children ball if you have the toddlers or maybe just grab the simple pillow and just uh, try to squeeze between your knees lean slightly backwards and all you need to do is try to squeeze the pillow at the same time when you breathe them out relax your belly and then contract relax contract relax and then squeeze relax squeeze and you can do that exercise again 
as many times as you want, short period of a time, but regularly in, uh, during the day. Okay, the next one, what you can do, you can lie down on your back, lie down on your back and try to lift your pubic bone a little bit inwards. So your low back is nice and flat. And then what you need to do, relax your hands and keep your feet flat on the floor. Start lifting your pelvis up and down. Breathe in, big belly on a breathe out, contract and lift. You can see how important it is. Vertebral by vertebral, come down, relax. And then pull and lift. And then start lifting. I will show you one more time, vertebral by vertebral. Good. Next one, lift your legs 90 degrees corner. Keep your low uh, back flat. So try to gently press down and make sure there's no space here. Hands could be again by the side. One leg at a time, lowers and taps. And every time you do this, you're trying to breathe out. to do up to 20 times if you can if it's too much you can do less lower your feet on the floor and gently give a bit of mobility in your lower back start dropping your knees side to side and turn the head opposite direction it's always nice to have that gentle massage around your lower back and then give a good hug to your knees and create a gentle massage, gentle massage one way and the other way. Now place your feet back down on the floor, again lift the pubic bone up so the low back is nice and flat. Place your hands behind your head, relax your belly, breathe in, on a breathe out, pull your belly button towards the floor and lift the shoulders off the floor only. Breathe in big belly, pull inward. Very important part, when you lift your shoulders, your belly comes inwards. Relax, breathe in, expand the ribcage, your belly and then Very important to lift your shoulders, keep the fist between your chin and the chest and make sure the belly is going downwards. Next one will be on your knees. And if you need a, a bit of a cushion for your knees, you can fold the mat or grab the pillow and then place it underneath. So I'm going to turn side and forward so you can see the different angle. The pillow is going to be between the hands and we're going to gently press inwards. When I do this, you can see a relaxed belly and pull it in. Relax, pull it in. Relax, pull it in. So gentle squeeze to the pillow and pull with the belly. Then if you want to make it a little bit harder, at the same time when you do, you relax the belly and then when you lean slightly backward, you pull the belly button in and you squeeze the pillow. Good. Then we're going to come up. And we're going to hold the pillow between our inner thighs. Legs is going to look forward. And then we're going to have a little squat in action. If the pillow is a bit 
small. You need a something a little bit bigger. So maybe find something which you can pop underneath and is a bit bigger. So I can easily squeeze the uh, ball with my knees. So I'm going to go a little bit down and I'm going to just squeeze it. And when I do that squeeze, I pull my belly button towards the belly and I'm contracting. If it's a bit too difficult, just hold something between your legs and do the squatting action. Sitting bones goes apart. Sitting bones comes together. Sitting bones goes apart. When we use that action with the sitting bones, we switch on our pelvic floor muscles where pubic bone comes up and then we switch on our deep core. If you want, you can add the upper body up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Then you can keep squeezing a ball or something what you have between the legs and just lift your heels off the floor and work with the with your calves gentle. Mm -hmm. And then you can lift your arms sideways. And then open up your arms and create a small circles. One direction and then other direction. And then one more for the upper body. Up and then pull down. Up. And when you pull down, squeeze. And if you have a subject between your inner thighs, then every time you do, you squeeze. And in the end, yes, it will be nice to open up your knees wider and then reach forward with your arms and give a good stretch. And then hold as long as feels comfortable. Walk your hands inwards, legs. You can roll over and just give a little bit of a rest. And that a little movement is going to give you slightly mobility, slightly flexibility and strength of the core, your pelvic floor muscles and very gentle strength of your arms and uh, legs. Is it good to start and you can do that a little workout every day and uh, it could take you between 10-15 minutes gentle each move you can do either up to 15 repetition between 12 and 15 repetition or you can uh, set up the timer and do one minute of each exercise this doesn't mean that you can't do less you can do less or you can do a bit more but consistency and uh, often little but but often is very important is going to give you better results wishing you very very good health and all the best <laughs>